Okay, so this uh, word problem has to deal with uh, scale factors and ratios. Um, and it's a really cool problem because uh, it's kind of a real-life practical application of how we use scale factors and how uh, we use proportions to analyze and solve problems in real life. Okay, so the swimming pool, okay, so there's a rectangular swimming pool. Okay, I'll do that in blue. It only makes sense, right? Okay. Beautiful. And then there's a fence surrounding it. Okay. And it says that these are similar, they're similar shapes. So the pool is similar shape to the fence. Okay. So we already know that they're similar, meaning they're going to be proportional to each other. Okay. So it says the pool is 30 feet wide. Okay. And the fence is 50 feet wide and 100 feet long. So I should probably do it the other way. So 50 feet wide. Whoops. Too far. All right. So the pool is 30 feet wide. Okay. The fence is 50 feet wide and 100 feet long. Okay. So what is the scale factor of the pool to the fence? So we start with the pool, then go to the fence. Okay. So from pool to fence, well, first of all, I have to have two sides that are the same, right? And again, looking at it, I can just look at my picture, see how this side is the same as this side? They're both kind of the width of the pool and the fence. Those are the similar sides. So from pool to the fence, the pool is 30 feet wide, and the fence is 50 feet wide, all right? So 30 to 50 is my scale factor but, again, you always try to reduce, if possible, so I can cross off some zeros. So it's a 3 to 5 scale factor, or a 3 fifths scale factor, okay? From pool to fence. So the, the word that comes first is the number that goes on top. All right, what is the length of the pool? Meaning, it wants to know this. It wants to know the length of the pool, okay? Well, if I know the scale factor is 3 to 5, okay, that's what we just found out, right? So 3 to 5. Okay, so the pool is on top. We don't know the length of the pool, but do we know the length of the fence, which, where the five comes from? Yes, it's 100, right? Isn't that the length of the fence? And so if we don't know the length of the pool, x, we do know the length of the fence, 100. So we use our scale factor to find out how long the pool is. Okay, and again, using my fancy trickery, how do we get from 5 to 100? Well, you multiply by 20. So from 3, we multiply by 20, and so that means x equals 60. So the length of the pool is 60 feet. And again, you can cross-multiply if you want to for this problem, but that's just a quick way of getting to it. All right, find the area reserved strictly for sunbathing. Okay. Now, I know this is kind of controversial because can't you sunbathe in the water? I mean, come on, if you really think about it. Okay. But let's go ahead and assume they don't mean you can sunbathe in the water. So we just found the length of the pool is 60. Okay. And when they talk about sunbathing, I guess they're talking about the deck of the pool, meaning everything I'm just highlighting right here, all this space, all this space right there. Okay. So couldn't we find the area of the whole fence, right? Meaning how do we find the area? It's length times width. So for the, area, for the area of just the fencing, isn't it 100 times 50, right? Wouldn't that be the area of the fencing? Which if you multiplied, you'll get 5,000. Okay, so that's for the fence. Okay. And then you subtract the pool, right? Because if I have the pool, I can't sunbathe in there, supposedly. Okay. So if I have the pool, the area of the pool we just found is 30 by 60 which is going to give you 1,800, okay? So we do 5,000 minus 1,800, and hopefully you get an answer of 3,200, right? So I have 3,200 feet to sunbathe, which means all the area outside the pool. And the only way we were able to find the area of the pool is if I used the scale factor to find the length. So that kind of gives you a kind of real-life application of uh, finding and using scale factor to find missing sides.